Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome aboard to Railgrade. Of course, this is a cool tycoon builder with a lot of infrastructure based on rail transporting water and fuel back to Earth as we're now on a new planet in inhabited or colonized or at least owned and operated by a Japanese corporation, the Nakatami Corporation, and of course, corporations care for us. So, if you guys would like to see more of this, make sure you smash, blow up, and destroy that like button, because the good news is, this is a free demo. You should be able to download and play this one for free today on Steam, so if you want to give it a shot, go ahead and check it out after the video. Thanks again for subscribing and supporting the channel as we rock it towards the 1 million subscribers. 60% of the people watching never subscribe, so if you like yourself some city builders or uh, infrastructure builders or factory builders such as Factorio or Dyson Sphere Program or many of the others, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Of course, this feels like a little bit like, um, I would say it definitely gives me feelings of Factorio and also Machinki with a little bit of transport fever and some other things mixed in. So let's go ahead and start fresh and build until we can build no longer. Thanks again for all the support. All right, so we're taking command of this colony now, and we own all the operational rights from Nakatani Chemicals. So it is now time for us to begin transporting things around the planet. Assignment, first job. Welcome, Administrator. All right, so what our first task will be then is uh, to transport water via Zeppelin to a nearby colony that's having trouble. We have nine minutes to do it, so there's a little bit of a kind of a time fever here. Now, I've messed around with the game a little bit, and it seems to play a little different than most games. Like, for example, we can only have one train per track, but that kind of makes it a little bit like a puzzle game, but not really. You just need to make sure that you know uh, how things connect. So let's go ahead and, speaking of connect, let's go ahead and connect a few stations here. We can also build stations at an angle, which is kind of cool. So, like, we can build two stations here for example and so that gives us twice the bonus of loading and unloading so if we do two stations like this we now can unload two times as fast up to six so let's go ahead and build another track here to take water from both sides and we'll try to get this done ASAP we have plenty of water to transport and we have plenty of money to do so so let's go ahead and add some more trains to the mix actually we'll build stations first we have steam locomotives and diesel locomotives so it's kind of like a cyberpunk steampunk and also a uh, diesel pump ki kind of game altogether. There's four water pumps here. For, for our purposes, we only need to build like two for now. So let's go ahead and jump into the trains here and see what we've got to manage. We have ourselves a coal burner or kind of a shunter, which is essentially like a smaller diesel train. So we'll go ahead and buy one of those. Actually, we've already got one on there by default. So we'll get, uh, let's see, four water tanks should do. We'll go ahead and accept that. And then it copies your last design to the new train kind of by default, so you can modify it if you want to, but now we have two trains transporting. We can go over the other tracks too, so we could add a second train here if we wanted to. And uh, let's see if we can go ahead and do that. Maybe one on the inside. Looks like we can build our stations here too. So if we wanted to, we can plop one down right next to that one, and it'll make it quite easy, especially since we can curve our train stations. Let's go ahead and add another train here. There we go. And we just need to transport 80 water, so this should be done really in no time. We can't build tunnels, it seems, but we'll have to go over everything. Not certain why. There is a day-night cycle, too. I like that. Let's go ahead and see if we can build a, a ramp just for demonstration purposes. We'll build like a kind of an incline here, and we'll build it back onto the other side and bring it on down. There we go. Now we'll have to get a little closer to the station on this one, like that. So it should be good, and so long as it sits flat, we can deliver it. So we'll need to go down a little bit further so we can salvage these parts. Bring the track all the way to the base, like this. And we should be able to then build a station. We'll build that one a little closer. A few more stations, then we add our train. Fantastic. The Zeppelin is here to transport things back to HQ. Or rather, to the uh, city. It looks like we built a little too far away here. So, it looks like... I don't think there's any way to upgrade these to be any larger. So, we'll just swing it around this way. And we should be able to take advantage of it there. And there we go. Solve that problem. Stations first, not the train. There we go. And now we can go ahead and connect them back and forth. Both stations are connected, so now we're delivering water like mad. Check it out. So for this first little warm-up, they just kind of teach you what can be done and let you see the limitations of bridge building. You can also connect multiple trains together. I love how the trains look, and I love how everything connects together. Really neat. I really wish we could build junctions, though, and have multiple trains running on the same tracks and have different stations, but it seems like they're all connected this way, so there's not much we can do to try to separate the tracks. Uh, but we can go over tracks, so that's nice. Makes it a little easier to do. So, like, for example, if we wanted to go up here, we definitely can. That kind of thing. All right, the Zeppelin is here. Look at that. Really cool-looking thing. We'll be traveling around the map and that in style in just mere moments. Maybe we should add some more uh, stations so our trains can load up faster. 
Although they need to be a little closer to the um, to the actual rail yard here. Go ahead and add more if we can. Nope, doesn't look like we can. We can try to load faster though. But it looks like a couple of these are too far away as well. So these ones will just have to load quickly. There we go. 100 yen per delivery, fantastic. And we can also build down here. Let's take a look. This planet almost looks like just Arizona. It's supposed to be a foreign planet. But they do mention in some emails, which are basically typewriter uh, emails that are mailed to you uh, via some tubes and then sent uh, b back and forth between these, like, interstellar zeppelins. There we go. So basically it's explained to us that we're on somewhere else, or at least a different region on somewhere else, wherever this may be. I like to think of it being its own planet. All right, looks like we're taking uh, more water than what we're producing, which is the reason why we have multiple water pumps here, but we should be able to finish well within the uh, five minutes needed, and we just need one more delivery, and that train will have it for us. All right, we'll move on to our second mission now. Cargo is uh, much more diverse than just water. This is just to help a local uh, city that's having some trouble with their water supply. So there we go. Very nice. Victory in 454. New personal best! Great. So it's really like a time attack mode, too, once you've kind of figured it out. And there we go. Pay stub, extra tickets. Based upon achieve rank minus historic payout, you receive tickets, which can be uh, tickets void upon mutiny. Great! All right, looks like we have some tickets to spend on something. Let's see if, what uh, flipping it around does. Oh, the EUL... <laughs> the ELUA? Hilarious. All right, let's go ahead and finish this up. Wait a minute, we can go to the shop. Oh, looks like we can buy different types of uh, songs, maybe? Pirate Shop Online. Oh, this is different music for the soundtrack. Or new engines. Ah. Let's see here. What might we want? Maybe a, a bullet train? Or maybe, a, oh, geothermal power plants. Test mission to ignore. Well, we have 12 tickets, so we should probably buy something uh, really good. Uh, let's see. Maybe a, maybe a train. The coal burner doesn't seem that great. But let's try the, uh, let's try the Westminster Climber. We might have to deal with some hills in the next round, so let's go ahead and purchase that and see what that's like. And everything else can be used for songs, but I think we'll just keep what we got for another time. Okay, let's continue then, and accept what we've got. And we'll go on to our next mission. Alright, here comes the information then, via typewriter. Alright, looks like uh, Null of Null, location unknown, is writing us messages. Very suspicious. Well, here's the desert-like planet, or at least desert-like region. To me, it seems like a whole new planet like Doom. We can actually explore around with the Zeppelin, which is kind of cool. So we see that there's a massive desert here, where there must be some sort of very uh, high concentration of ore and or uh, materials. Oh, look, our Zeppelin can actually travel under the mountains. I see. Very powerful. <laughs> it's just glitching through. Ah, very good. Well, let the spice flow. Let's move on to mission two. We can explore the map, but... We're going to go to Mark A now, like oil and water. Landing at this region will grant you control of the region's resources and industries. Yes, we will take command. Hey, Yoshida, good job on the water delivery. I'll assign you to a new region, which might prove more of a challenge. Sato, Nakatami Chemicals. All right, that's, of course, just a briefing of it. Ah, now we have a major city. Excellent. Let's see what we have here. So we have a large city to supply. We have a countdown timer already going. We'll need to supply that with water in order to reach level 1, and then oil in order to probably supply it with power to reach level 2, maybe. All right, let's get cracking. Uh, let's see here. Water is our first and foremost goal. So let's do a little reverse engineering here. Let's go ahead and build a train track there. Let's try to deliver over water as quickly as possible. We'll do two train tracks at a time and have it curve behind the buildings here, maybe? Uh, there is space to do it. Again, we can't. unfortunately, we can't build... Uh, any tunnels, otherwise we'd build them there. So we'll go up this way, and we'll back that track up just a little bit. And we'll try to make a curve here. So we'll deal with the water situation first, then the oil situation. There we go. Let's build some stations. Looks like we can build three to start with. But they have to be built on flat ground, or curved track. Let's build a little longer train. Uh, not like that. Now we'll go ahead and salvage that section. Make our stations at the end. There we go, a little OCD alert there. Oh good, that straightens it out. And now we have all the stations that we need. Okay, let's go ahead and buy ourselves a train. Oh, we have the climber available now. Cool, that's a sweet looking train. Does it show us the speed or anything? Uh, let's see, 800. 
Oh, it's adding all sorts of different trains. Well, that's going to be a pretty powerful train. So let's get the climber since we are climbing. And we'll go ahead and have it uh, process and transport water. We'll do the same on the second one. All right, both trains are working now. There's the climber. Exactly what it's supposed to do. Very nice. Good engine to have. Oh, and it's speeding up quite quickly. All right, let's see if we can add another station here. Okay, so we can load faster than we can unload, but that's totally fine. All right, water's already starting to be transported. We have ourselves a bank here and also a accountant's office. So lots of information right there, but let's go ahead and borrow a maximum amount of money and get cracking with some of the other goals. We got to bring in some more water. Got to get this thing up to a high, high level. Let's go ahead and transport more water. We'll build a second train track here next to this one already being constructed. We'll be able to have them side by side. Unfortunately, we can't build junctions or bypass tracks or anything like that, but that's okay. Right, we'll build it straight into town. Oh, you can hear the trains going. It'll be cool if we get to transport passengers. I really like the style of these trains and stuff. I really want to see like a futuristic uh, transport fever or something like that. Okay, we have uh, two stations ready to go there. We'll do the same here. Actually, we'll go three like we did on the other side. And this time we'll buy a different train. This one's a little more expensive, so we'll buy the 650 rather because it's uh, on flat land. So let's try the 650. And that looks to be the correct train. Buy another train here. All right. And now we need to get some more cash. So let's start connecting the oil trains up too. Let's go ahead and start connecting these bad boys. Shorter distance means faster deliveries. So let's start with two here and we can always add to it. Let's try to scoot it over a little bit. And we'll try the same in reverse. Ah, looks like it needs to go over just a little bit closer. All right, we'll go ahead and scoot this over. There we go. And we'll go over this way instead. There we go. Perfect. Now some stations. And we'll make those longer on each end if we need to. Just a little bit more money is required. We've already maxed out our loan. Got 10 minutes left on the S rating, so we'll just need to wait a little bit for these trains to deliver all of the water for this city to be upgraded to level 2. Looks like we'll need to get to 10 consecutive water and storage in order to get to that level required. And the city also has an accounting office for us and the bank that we saw earlier to utilize as backup. There we go. More water. Okay, we just need a few more deliveries. These two trains should be able to do it. I love how they look. That train looks like a crane or something, or a telehandler. Where the cab is up on one side and the other end is down just for the arm to rest. Very nice. Okay, we got to try to get a tr uh, oil train going here shortly, so hopefully we get some more money soon. We're not allowed to borrow any more. Oh, yes, we can. We can borrow a little bit more cash now. Let's go ahead and buy one more train here. We'll switch the uh, these cars to oil cars. We'll start with that. And I think we can duplicate the train, too. Indeed, we can. All right, we have two yen remaining. That's not even enough to buy a soda in Japan. But we're ready to rock now. Everything should be connected up, so the city just needs to achieve that beautiful goal of 10 out of 10. And indeed, it did. The city is now growing. We're at 10 out of 10. Gorgeous. And now the workforce is supplied. Let's go ahead and turn on the workers here that we're receiving from the city so that should be okay and more water will be delivered the city soon will upgrade it looks like it was at 10 out of 10 briefly they also require salt and i believe we can also increase the production of these buildings by leveling them up oh it looks like i forgot to put one more station there forgot about that one sorry bud and we'll get more oil delivered here soon and it looks like electricity is going out energy output is increasing Catalyst is inactive for neon gas, which is another thing that we can use to increase production. City is growing. More growth. We need more. Not enough growth. We need more. More. All right, let's see. We could probably build another uh, train line here to deliver. 
even more oil. How do we, how much do we have here? Three. Okay, so we want to start using this other one. We'll go over here and connect to this oil well. All is good in oil well. I guess we'll connect there just so everything looks nice. And we can build another line here, but we'll do that later. Okay, we just need another uh, 1,005... What was it? 1,050 or 1,500? Wait for a few more trains to make their deliveries. And we'll go back to the bank and see if we can borrow more money. Good. Very good. Excellent. And we'll go ahead and accept that. Perfect. Another station. Ah, good. The city has leveled up, finally. Enough water has been supplied, and they had it for long enough to level up the glor glorious city. All right, now we just need to produce a total of 50 energy. Luckily, we've got all the trains bopping already. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's put another track down. So I love this. The music looks great. I love the... Uh, I really, like, think this looks like Factorio to me, like a kind of a different version of Factorio, maybe a crisper version of it, but I, re I really like this. It's very cool. How could, it, how could I say anything less than that with a demo that's free, really? I like the concept of it. And I want to see more, uh, you know, Railroad Tycoon-like style games such as this one. Let's add some stations. And we'll need a little bit more cash. Can we go scam the bank again? Oh, we can. Good. Excellent. We may bankrupt the corporation. But that's okay. We can go ahead and abandon the corporation and keep the profits for ourselves. Good. Good. That's why we have an LLC, kids. Good. Very good. Why right, we need about a little bit more cash. There we go. And now we can plop that down. All right. Good. Four trains are delivering oil to the oil power plant. And the oil wells are spurting out as much power as possible. Now, let's see. Can we upgrade this again? Increase speed, increase storage. That's what we need next, is to increase that a little bit more. Give me more bank. Deposit rate 1.44. Okay, we just need to prove to them, I guess, that we have a better credit rating by making increased payments. And that will be our money right there. Ooh, some of these trains are actually... Uh, it's like we're, we're hauling a little bit too much. That's okay. Eventually, we can upgrade the oil well, too, to have increased output. Good. Very good. Wait a minute. These two have flatbeds, but they seem to be oil c cars. Are the oil cars sitting on flatbeds? Or can we use flat... Oh, can we use a flatbed car as a multi-purpose? Weird. They must be trying to bring things back. Energy isn't accepted by the city until now, so it looks like it's not connected via a power line. We have to actually connect it like batteries. Ah, that's something I didn't know. Good. Good. We have more money to be made. Well, let's see if we can reconfigure one of our lines then. We're certainly delivering enough power. So let's go ahead and trash one of these lines. Wait a minute. No, we can deliver a lot more power this way. Hold on. All right. The more you know. Let's see here. We can co connect a, a small train here. This one shouldn't be as expensive. But we'll build our climber here maybe. We want two tracks to be connected there. All right, not a very long distance at all. Yes, we need a loan. Thank you. Good, good. All right, let's build some stations. We need two more here. And then we need to buy a train. Good, very good. All right, we need to produce 50. So basically, it's not so much about delivering it to the city. It's more about the speed of producing more of them. Now there's a little bit of a backup, but we should be able to produce 50 in the four minutes remaining. Let's see. All right. More stations then. And let's see if we can sell one of the water trains for now. Let's see. Is there an option to sell it? Sell for scrap V. Perfect. All right. We'll get rid of that one for now. Now we have two stations. Good. Okay. Let's get rid of this line. The city has grown long enough. There we go. Yes. Yes. Sell the whole line. Perfect. Now let's buy a new train. And this train will ship all those batteries out. Let's see, the climber. No, actually, this one really doesn't need to be a climber, does it? It could be, though. There we go. Let's go with this train. 
Fantastic. All right. No more backups. Three minutes. Can we do it? Let's see. We're delivering a hell of a lot of oil now. There's a lot of oil sitting there. Let's see if we can increase our train's pickup and drop-off rate. We'll add more stations. So that way they can load and unload faster. Everything just needs to be at the power plant according to the requirement of our mission. More. We need more. The station needs to load faster too. Excellent. Bring that battery in, baby. Two minutes. Let's see if we can beat it. Okay, we've made those maximum size now. Oil's being loaded as quickly as possible. Still a maximum here. We can make our train longer. Have to configure. Let's add more energy. All right, she's a little longer now. Good. Very good. All right, that train should be able to haul everything down. Is the station long enough? Much longer now. All right, she just needs to deliver 20 more. As long as there's a full stack of the oil area, we've done that. Can we take out any more money from the bank? Okay, we now have 4,000. Will we be close enough to the city? Indeed we will. Excellent. Okay, both trains will pull into the station now. And load up with the required goods. And if we upgrade the uh, power plant, I believe we can have more employees, which makes it produce more as well. Well, with 42 seconds, we made it. A little bit of an intense moment there, but I love it. Train line trash to go for something more important, which is energy. Good. Very good. Actually, it's not about the delivery. It's more about the uh, clearing it out of the power plant so they can make more. They need to make more. All right, let's see. All right, looks like we're making them a little too slow, but still close enough for that S ranking. We'll be a little short, but that's all right. I don't mind. And good for a second playthrough. Oh, darn. Are we going to have to play this super fun game again? Oh. To 100% it? Jeez, darn. Oh, well. Oh, I like trains. I hope you do, too. Oh, we made a lot of money from delivering those trains. Yeah, the goal of that is to clear that out so they can produce more for the backup. So we can also upgrade the uh, oil power plant so it can hold 30 rather than 15. So additionally, in terms of uh, completing the mission, having one train with extra storage is just as good as two trains with faster delivery. Good. Very good. Ooh, more tickets to go. All right. Excellent. Let's see if we can go shopping again. Any more trains unlocked? A hybrid diesel. Oh. The climber we already own. And the new bullet. Oh, that's going to be a good one. I really want to go with that one. All right. Let's close that out and continue on. Oh, darn. That was where the only missions. Oh, man. We wouldn't have been able to see those other trains anyway. So I guess I'll have to come back and do it again in order to 100% it. Jeez, okay. Well, let's return to the uh, main uh, menu then and talk a little bit more about Railgrade. So what I like, I see, I, I certainly want an open world game too, like something like Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe and um, maybe my own map making. Now, I don't know exactly what this game has in store. The uh, story is actually quite cool. The fact that there's a campaign that we can transport things around with the Zeppelin and go to different missions is really cool too. But a sandbox mode where you can build your own uh, industries and transport things around. Uh, oil transports uh, things into energy. 
And then, of course, water helps to grow cities. So there's elements of things like a Railway Empire and a few other the transport rail-only transport games that we played on the channel. This has been amazing, and so are you guys. So I want to thank you for your support. Check this one out on Steam. Leave a like to help grow the channel and tickle that algorithm to get some more views here on the channel so we can get some more subs as we go towards 1 million. We're very close, so I'm going to push it more than ever. I'm going to push it like the climber train. That's my favorite. You guys are my favorite, too. So thanks, as always, for the support. Can't wait to see you all tomorrow. And I can't wait to play more Railgrade. Let's take a look quick at the Tech Tree 2. You can see all the things coming soon to the game. Rocket Factory, Steel Mill, Tool Die, Salt Refinery. Oh, is that Reddit? Uh, Ore Mine, Incinerator, Goods Factories. Lots of good stuff. Very goods. 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 All right, guys. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Have a fantastic afternoon, good evening, and good night. And thanks for being my viewers. You're wonderful. We'll see you soon.